Good evening and welcome to my end of the week recap video here for Apple and plan ahead for next week and probably a play that leads into earnings. Real quick, I did close out of these 2.30 calls here. Uh, first half did come out here at about 121. Came up into a resistance trend line, so I wanted to lock some in, plus it was right around 100% gain. So definitely worth taking it off there. Uh, once it broke above and started to fail, I think I may have actually top ticked that candle, I'm not sure. Um, but quarter or half of the remaining position I did take out there at 133. The rest of it trailed me out down here below VWAP. So overall ended up being a very nice trade. Um, if you were seeing a head and shoulders pattern, you, I'm pretty sure you can say it's now void. I mean, if you got an upsloping head and shoulders pattern, ignore it. In an uptrend, bullish patterns are much more reliable than trying to find something that's a potential reversal or top. Now with that in mind, we have potentially put in a little bit of a lower high here um, not albeit not on a tremendous amount of volume but it is indeed a third lower high so we may pull back down again to find some other support probably the 50 SMA one of these levels down here so just levels to be aware of price action that could play out we do have earnings coming up every time we have a earnings there's been a beat well not every time but lately since Apple has been reporting they've beat and then about a week week and a half later Buffett comes out and releases that he's bought more shares so could be a repeat of recent history. We'll have to wait and see what happens then. Uh, but these are the trade plans I'm looking for on Monday. On a pullback to the ADMA, I'll look for 225, excuse me, 222 and a half calls here, two weeks out. Uh, the 21 EMA, I'll look for 220 calls, two weeks out. Way down here, the 50 SMA, 215 calls, about four weeks in the future. Now, since we also have another potential support down here. I'm going to go ahead and throw that line on there just so I know that it's there and it should have a uh, larger area of demand if it does come back down there. So maybe that will support price. If not, still way down here, the 205, 200 level and below there at the 200 SMA. There's plenty of levels down below, plenty of supports, uptrend still intact. Nothing but a potential consolidation for another move higher. So right now I'm obviously going to stay bullish on Apple. I do want to put one more note on here. if this gaps above or moves above this little bit of a cup and handle flag whatever kind of pattern you see right here if it moves above this I call it 226 and a half I will be looking to play a bake out, uh, excuse me a breakout trade whoops over 226.50 and I'll look for basically those two th same 230 strike calls plus two weeks so that will be for October 19th. So that's what I'll be looking up at to enter right here because that at least implies that this trend is broken. Stops that are above here will be triggered and most likely we'll have enough strength to take out the stops above here. If not, I will know that this level here I might have to lock some in if that occurs. And of course up here prior high is also going to have a little, at least a little bit of supply. But this overall W pattern that I had on my last video is starting to look like it's going to play out. Just have to wait and see if it can break this trend in this higher resistance up here. So for now, that's my trade plan for the next week. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave, me, leave them down below. Have a good weekend and good luck.